Well, a lot of the things that you may love about Billy Bob's are back. The venue reopened today, focusing on their restaurant sales, because they have to. Our Nicole Nielsen spent the day at the world's largest honky-tonk and shares now the changes that they have made to be able to reopen the doors. Billy Bob's has been serving food since the 80s, but today is reopening, focusing on their restaurant sales after the pandemic closed all bars. We're real excited. We've uh, our friends at TABC and have, have worked with us to help us get a, a new classification of our permit called the FB certificate, which allows us to open as a restaurant. General Manager Marty Travis says before the pandemic, they were considered a bar because their alcohol sales were greater than their food and beverage sales. But with the new permit, their alcohol sales are now compared to their total gross receipts, which shows that Billy Bob's typically generates about 35% of revenue from alcohol. They can come in and have a beer or watch a show and, and, and have an appetizer or popcorn. They don't have to have uh, sit down and have a meal. But it's just the way that we're running our operations now. It's focused around the restaurant. The biggest change is only 1,200 folks are allowed inside compared to their 6,000 max capacity, along with the purchase of a thermal camera to track temperatures at the door. They're also following social distancing guidelines and offering hand sanitizing stations. The coronavirus is not in this building, we feel. Now our job is to keep it out. Today, regulars are excited to get back. Glenn Knight came to get a meal the day they closed, but was too late. He came back today for a taste. I've been here many times. We're back over here today, the first day that they're opening back. Try it again. He says it's the most important thing he can do to support local businesses. I'm doing my best. I only eat three meals a day, and I'm, I'm just trying to support my community as best I can. For now, they're only open during the daytime and weekend events just to make sure that reopening goes smoothly. In Fort Worth, Nicole Nielsen, CBS 11 News.